The visitors who were put into bat were off to a strong start with Lee and Dean Van Nurk combining to put up a 53 run opening stand. It was the left arm quick of Kuyana Joseph who brought the breakthrough for the West Indies with Van Nurk's wicket in his seventh over. But Lee continued on, partnering with Marzana Cobb this time for the second wicket as the duo put on a 6 in iron stand. Lee brought up her half century of 39 balls. The low kept the runs flowing before Haley Machos thwarted them with a double strike in the 18th over. Lee departed for 75 hitting 12 fours and one maximum, while Cap was dismissed for 32 ball 24. Laura Wolvard then proved to be the finishing product of the innings with a 9 ball 33 in which she cracked 4 consecutive sixes of Machos in the last 4 balls of the innings, taking the total to 165. The host made a good start in the chase racing to 21 in 2.3 overs but following Matthews dismissal of the next ball and then regular strikes kept the rest of his top order batters in check with the action with climbing they eventually crumbled meanwhile West Indies women's head coach Courtney Walsh told Cricket West Indies media open quote we didn't play as well as we know we can nor expect it to play so they got too many runs up front and then when we batted our batting went through the door hopefully we've learned a lot from it some good areas to look at. One or two players had good starts. The strike rates were looking at. A couple of players achieved it. So it's not doom and gloom. But we didn't play as well as we should have. We have got one more game to play to draw the series. And then we have five matches in the ODI series. So we have more cricket to play. End quote. The sides will meet in the decider in the third and final T20 international scheduled to take place at the same venue on September 5. The first 20 international was called off due to rain. For the newsroom, Akin Green.